my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm the director and founder of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues in Michigan, and we provide these videos to provide uh, education to our viewing audience and to our client base and to our potential client base. Subscribe to our channel to get a tremendous amount of education uh, uh, free of charge and always the opportunity to follow up with that. You can always call us. Uh, today we're going to talk about an interesting issue. Uh, one of our uh, members of our viewing audience called in and said, are there signs that I should look for if my marriage is over? It's an interesting question. I don't think anybody is a bigger authority in your relationship than you. So if you're asking a third party like a lawyer, well, my marriage may be over or may not be over, what are the signs? I think you're going to know what the signs are. I mean, there's no hard and fast rule from a legal standpoint where a lawyer can tell you, oh, if this happens, then this is over. I've seen people who decided to go uh, you know, uh, through the divorce route because they could no longer agree on where to vacation. I've seen that. I've seen people who've been involved in, in, in relationships where there were serial affairs and they don't want to get divorced yet. So here's my point. Every marriage is different. There are no set of signs to tell you when, uh, what you should look for if your marriage is over. I would say that you should first determine what are the deal breakers. What are the things that can happen where the marriage is irretrievably lost? And once you determine what those things are, and it could be an affair, it could be your uh, a spouse invading your bank account, stealing all your savings, it could, it, you could have an idea of what those things would be. Now, if you want to then ask, how do I know if those things are uh, occurring? Of course, we can tell you that. We can give you some idea of how you might do that. But I think first and foremost, you got to trust your gut. You trusted your gut when you got into the marriage that this was the right person for you. If that same voice is telling you that the marriage is over, I think asking for a stranger, a lawyer, or a judge to tell you, hey, you know, wake up and smell the roses, I don't think you really need that. I think instinctively you know whether or not the fabric of your relationship has worn through. And if you feel there's nothing left to preserve, at that point, I think it's over. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.